I've definitely been doing it for so long, but it's always made sense since the very beginning. There's been no like weird roof hucks to flat. I had a lot of fun actually laughing at mountain biking throughout the years. <laughs> I've been at it since I was eight. Was a little skater kid. There was teenagers around that were like building uh, lawn tramps and stuff. And I saw it and I was super keen on replicating that. I went into my basement and stole my dad's tools. That was it. I kind of looked at the ramp, figured it out, cut a tranny, put it all together. And then it just kept going from there. Mountain biking, like I always pedaled. You know, bikes just one inch, two inch, three inches of travel, just kept going until it was DH. And I was like, okay, well, I need to bring that bike to my snowboard park that I ride every day and jump those jumps. Which back then, I mean, in 2000, you're talking whatever, like a 60 foot, 70 foot snowboard table. So there's like a weird disconnect between what biking was and then what jumping was. It was snowboarding to me, right? So years go by and I'm like, that's all I can think about. I'm like, I need a, a snowboard park in my yard, right? I show you how to turn something in the Oh! I feel like I already got it like set up in my mind. Otherwise you can't <laughs> you can't build it if you don't already have it in your head. The whole time I'm like, oh no one knows what they're doing. <laughs> it's like I gotta build something to prove that there's a right way to do all this. Even though it's our first build together, we've all been building for so long and built different styles of stuff that when you're working with people that have built before, it's like no one even really needs to talk or anything. It's just like riding the trail in a way. There's just like a flow to the build where everybody just knows. The more you do, the more you do. Usually if I like, I get off work and, and still have some motivation and stuff, those are some of the best days I've ever had out working on a trail. When you kind of a little grom growing up riding dirt jumps and stuff and all of a sudden there's these dudes building like huge stuff and kind of makes you realize like the scale that you can build on and everything and like Brad really likes to build like more poppier style and the first time of the year you get to your apex and your eyes just kind of go Phew. it's like oh that's what it's like to be high in the air again <laughs> like really high in the air and then Phew. and it's like yeah this one section that I, I have it pictured in my head and I'm hoping it can work. It's full transfer style, like not like a, yep. I'm hoping that when you ride it and the way I want to build it is you're going to go off like this, but it's going to get you locked in there like this so that you don't like turn like this, but you're like, you're going to kind of be like full transfer, like, like make you go sideways off of it. We do about six or eight laps with the e-bike when we put our speed strip in. And then it's ready for testing. 180 on the takeoff, pedal back up the inside, loop down again, hand it off to Rico, he does another six laps. <laughs> Let's go get some water. I hear uh, Brad's gonna be, uh, he's gonna be getting a new bike today. Okay, where the fuck's my bike? Fuck off! <laughs> Sick, man. Nice. You! <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> it's a scrub bunk. 
<laughs> like kind of make it like when you let wrap that and then like snap into the next one. You're like pre-turning. Yeah, kind of like Rico style on a trail, the opposite yeah, yeah. way in and then just. Yeah. I definitely love the riding part, like testing it, just cause like you have an open canvas and to see if it works then, yeah. It's like changing lip angles and stuff. That's what I like to like see how you get different pop and yeah. Rico, guinea pigging. Most important piece of the puzzle. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're right, Ron. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. About which part? It's crazy to see the influence that the boys have had and the, what they've learned in building. It's been taken around the world, but what people don't know is that Good drop, most of the time it's a lot more sideways than straight with them. <laughs> <laughs> Riding for so many years, you kind of remember that sick thing on that trail, right? Because trails weren't as good back then. Bottom line, as you remember a moment a lot better, you're just like, that feeling was sick. We need more of that, right? That's all you'd think. Or you'd go back all just for that one corner on that one trail. And the whole time, all I did was log that. I'm like, that was sick. Why was it sick? And I, and I pay attention years go by right and then it's like I just kept doing that from every trail and I'm like if every sick moment on every trail I've ever been on was all combined into one trail it's the one unfulfilled quest <laughs> <laughs>